All right, y'all, so I'm about to start off going ahead and washing my dishes and cleaning my area on where I'm about to cook. So now I'm just cleaning my counters, microwave and everything, making sure everything is clean before I start cooking. Okay, and y'all see that it is clean. The floor is already filled and I put the dishes in there to just rinse. I washed them in the sink and I rinse them in here. So now I'm about to start cooking. I already got the pasta I'm going to use to cook. About to cook some fish, some rice, and some macaroni and cheese. So yeah. I so I cleaned my sink out real good. So now I'm about to go ahead and start washing off my fish in the sink. Yes, I use the sink. I don't know where else y'all cook it, but I use my sink to cook it. So. Once your fish is washed, it's now seasoning time. I use Laurie seasoning, Mr. Dash seasoning, garlic powder. I use lemon pepper seasoning and slap your mama seasoning. And I also use mustard. Yes, mustard. Mustard is the key ingredient. Also, mustard also makes it very crispy when you're cooking your fish, chicken, anything fried or anything on the grill. You can marinate it in mustard and it'll make it taste way better and you all notice how i'm not putting any seasoning on the back of the fish or anything on the back of it it's because you're now just going to mix all the seasonings the mustard and all together and it'll go to the back of the fish so you won't have to use that much seasoning <laughs> So something went wrong with my um, speaker when I was talking to you guys right here. But what I'm doing is I'm just getting my grease in my skillet and I'm pouring the grease halfway in the skillet. I do want it to be halfway in the skillet because I do want the grease to cover up most of the fish so it can cook right. And now I'm just getting my Walmart bag and I'm putting my Zetaran seasoning 
in there that's also why i didn't put as much seasoning on the fish because the zetaran seasoning is seasoned as well so you just get your old reliable walmart bag and put the zetaran seasoning up in the walmart bag and now you're just going to get your fish and put it in the walmart bag with the seasoning Remember, as I said, to clean as you go. So I go back and wash my sink out to have a nice, clean cooking area. As you see me now I'm shaking that Walmart bag just to make sure this is basically like flour anything you fry but this that this is the Zetaran seasoning just making sure that it's all over the fish and I'm about to test the grease on the stove to see if it's hot by the way I'll test it is I grab some of the seasoning out of the bag and I sprinkle a little in there and if you see it frying that means that your grease is ready Yeah, so y'all see that grease sizzling so that means it's time to drop them fish in that grease <laughs> Okay, y'all, so I'm grabbing my fork and I'm also getting a spatula because I don't want the fish to like make a big splash when I flip it and I don't want the grease to pop on me. So I just get the spatula and the fork and I just, you know, put the fish on the spatula and then place it down in the pot so it won't make a big splash. that carries them has kept me astray too soon to act on it can we ever be that all depends on what you're feeling from me show you all the way So when you take your fish out, it should look all goldy and crisping like this. Y'all, I didn't have no more napkin. So you got to work with what you got. So I use tissue to drain it. I don't care. I had to use something. So this is my rice. I let it come to a boil and then what I do is I take my rice and I rinse off the starch off my rice. And what you do is that you just run water on it and you keep stirring it and you keep like draining the rice until your water is clear. So that means all the starch will be off the rice. The voice that carries them has kept me astray. Too soon to act on it, can we ever be? That all depends on what 
Y'all, this is just the macaroni and cheese noodles. Um, I'm making stovetop macaroni, so I don't do nothing special. I just drain the noodles, and you're just gonna add the cheese in there and stir it. That's all. everything I do I add my butter and salt to my rice and mix it when it's done and that is basically it um my kids come in here I fix their plates and they all line up it actually be kind of funny because they actually get in line um and get their plates <laughs> and um, I get them their plates so um that's basically it and dinner is served
be the end of my cooking video. Don't mind this right here. I just put some salt right there. It's to clean up the bump or whatever. Don't worry about it. But that'll be the end of this video. I hope you guys enjoyed this cooking video. Um, my other daughter, she is sweet, Zariah. That's why you only seen um, six plates. And my baby, um, Makaya, she's sweet too, the youngest daughter. So, um, yeah, she had her own plate too, the baby now. She has her own plate now. So, yeah, um, that's why y'all only seen that many plates of my husband. He still had wings left over from earlier today. So, he didn't have his plate over there either. All them plates you saw were for my kids. They eat like adults. So, um, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Don't forget to like this video, turn on post notifications so you can know when we post. Also, don't forget to give me a thumbs up down below. Comment what things that you'd like to see from my family. Also, leave a comment as well and let me know that you was here and how much you enjoyed the video. Comment more things that you would like to see me do and cook also because I always cook. I cook every day. I just don't show you guys I cook every day. But yeah, hope you guys enjoyed and bye.